Hello, this is D. Roy Cruz here, your life applications officer, one of your life applications officers here on YouTube. Uh, many life applications officers don't want to be honest and call themselves that. Um, but if you are like me who believes that this right here, is the best thing that ever happened to you and you feel that the world is in debt to follow likewise then you clearly are a life applications officer um, I talk about a lot of things in my videos and people get offended um, so I just want to give you a disclaimer about that if you are the kind of person that's easily defended because you have a more modern form of sexuality or a more modern view of what America is and what it should be, prepare to be offended. Prepare to be offended because I'm not here to change diapers and I'm not here to wipe noses. I'm here to preach the truth. Um, as I as I as it comes to me, I preach it to you. Um, the Bible is God's love letter and advice to mankind. Okay, um, and there's only one. We can get on a discussion of that if you want, but there's only one Bible, and there's only one Bible for all. The Muslims don't get to have their own. The Jehovah's Witnesses don't get to have their own. The Mormons don't get to have their own. And the atheists don't get to have their own dogma. There's only one. And that is the one that is called the Holy Bible, the Texas Receptus. Okay? That's the only one. And uh, I'm going to confess today that my videos have not been perfect, but again, I must say, if you're easily offended, prepare to be offended, because I'm not here to wipe noses, and I sure ain't here to change diapers. My kids are grown. They can take it. My kids are grown. They can take it. Okay? Uh, three of the things that I talk about is atheism, and when I talk about atheism, I'm not talking about all the underlining... Uh, philosophies behind it because it's all bullcrap to me. Okay? Who died and left y'all the boss? Nobody. Okay? Um, Jesus died and left us the boss, though, so if you want to throw that back at me. Jesus died that we might judge the world. Okay? And when we say judge, we don't mean to inflict punishment on everybody, but we will judge the world on all things. That's what Jesus died for. Um... And he ain't dying again, okay? Um, but I pick on atheists a lot, and that's why most of my subscribers are atheists. Um, if you're easily offended, prepare to be offended, okay? I talk about politics and race. Let me clarify. First of all, as far as politics are concerned, I don't know a whole lot about politics. Okay? I do know one thing, though, that... Anyone that comes into this country, this country comes first. If I go to China, I want to make I want to love the Chinese people with all my heart. And if I go to China, okay, and I don't agree with their politics coming through the gate, what's the point of me going to China? I'll stay home. Why would China be a good country for me to go to if I don't agree with their uh, leaders, if I don't agree with their politics? Why would I go to China? Okay? I mean, other than a visit. I can understand, you know, going on a honeymoon in China or something like that, but, the, you know. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying about politics is that America is not... A open toilet for everybody to come in here and take a poop because they can't take it somewhere else. Okay? 
No, 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 no. All the Mexicans have, have I don't know, several countries. I don't know the number, but I, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and, man, I realize there's about as many Mexicans as there are Muslims, or should I say Arabs, Middle Easterns in this world. Like, my goodness, like, they got all these countries. Why do they come here? I mean, even in the midst of this coronavirus, which we're having right now in 2020, why, do, why, why would anybody want to come here? You got countries out there that ain't suffering from the coronavirus, okay? Um, and they're in your language, your people, you know? Um, but, I mean, nobody's allowed to go anywhere because of the coronavirus, so that's a... We'll leave that out, but I'm just saying, everybody wants to come here when they got... They have their own democracies. All they got to do is go on a plane and go that way instead of this way. And boom. Yes, indeedy. 2020, baby. And I got my hat back. This hat is the hat that I started these channels with. Found it in Walmart yesterday. And I got me some toilet paper, too. Got me good old four rolls of Scott. Thank God I'm single. But I got there when they were stocking the toilet paper. So, um, but that's it about politics. Um, anyone coming to this country should be about this country. This country is not a toilet a toilet room. It's not a bathroom. And this country is not. Um, free for all, which I think this guy right here is trying to express to us, that this country is not a free for all. Everybody, if they don't, if they're not happy with their situation, just come to America. And let me tell you, I love immigrants, especially the women, my goodness, Whew. Um, but, you know, I get a lot of scrutiny because of me talking about immigrants, and somebody said that, that, yeah, Mr. Cruz, um, somebody just recently told me, they said, yeah, Mr. Cruz, immigrants can come to your country, and they don't have to like you, they can be racist towards you, they can, uh, come in your country and do what they want to do, and if they don't want a single white man or a black man or any other man that considers himself American to come within 10 feet of them, that's okay. That's their right. That's their prerogative. And I, and I said back, that's the problem we're having. If I go to Mexico, and I don't agree with Mexico about a lot of things, but if I go to Mexico, I'm going to love the Mexican people, at least while I'm there. I'm going to love the Mexican people because I need the Mexican people. I need them because of their language. I need them because of their culture. I need to know how to get from Costa Boca to Nuco Poloco. <laughs> I need to know the names of the streets, okay? I need to know how to get there, okay? So I'm going to embrace these Mexican people. Come on. Uh, be real with me. I'm going to embrace these Mexican people. Okay? Um, black folks is another thing I get a lot of scrutiny on. I only got one thing to say about black folks. Okay? You don't have a culture. Let's be honest. So stop acting like, you know, any old thing that you can pull out of the ground or, or scoop up out of the toilet and clean it up a little bit and spray some disinfectant cleaner on it and call it a culture makes makes us special and gives us culture. It doesn't. I hate to tell you, but you might have to look at some of your, some of these white folks and some of these, I didn't say all, but some, some of these white folks and some of these immigrants who have a country to go back to. You might have to look at them and, 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 and find yourself a culture somewhere in there. 
you know, there's there's black people who have left this country to go back to Africa. And they were able to live in the best parts of Africa, and they're happy. And they've learned the language. They've learned the people. They have a culture because they were determined to find one. There's black people who have left here and moved to uh, Brazil. And, they, and, they, and there's a ton of video footage about it on YouTube, okay? Because uh, they found their place in Brazil, you know. Um, people that moved to the, you know, the, the Caribbean and so forth and, and even some of the Indian countries and they found their place. Some of them, um, have aligned with certain Mexican cultures or certain Spanish cultures, I should say. And they learn how to speak Spanish and live and live in those countries and fly in between those countries and everything is Spanish in their life. They, they, they made themselves a Spanish black person. And they're happy. There's YouTube uh, for that footage too. There's a guy that moved to uh, what? Uh, Germany. He said the Germans treat them better than white folks here in the States. Okay. Whatever, whatever makes you um, happy and gives you a culture, but please, by no means, don't call hating on white people, crime on white people, um, sagging your pants, um, you know, being a welfare recipient, having babies out of wedlock, practicing abortion like making pancakes, okay, and, and then you want to get up there and you want to say the, the, the Democratic Party is the, is the party of for black people and anybody that ain't democratic is a racist. Okay? That crap right there needs to stop. That's all I'm saying. Just stop. You don't have a culture. Find your best friend and say, hey, what's it like to be being American? I know I should know this by now because I went through slavery and blah, 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 Jim Crow, civil rights movements, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Show me what it's like to be an American. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Politics and race is a thing you'll see me talking about. Okay? And, um... If you are easily offended, prepare to be offended. Okay? Um... And then, last but not least, I talk about the details of the... Uh, the liberal behaviors of this country, whether they be um, everything, everything from tattoos and piercings all the way to homosexuality, all the way to sleeping with animals, all the way to, you know, dragging our kids and putting them in dresses and putting little boys in dresses and little girls in, 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 you know, carpenter pants or whatever, and trying to make them practice various roles and 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 genders. Um, that has to stop. I know it's not going to stop because it's prophesied, but I still have to talk about it. Sorry, I have to talk about it. And if you're easily offended, prepare to be offended. Okay. I will talk about your liberal behaviors and how they stink. You need to flush them down the toilet, and you need to clean your toilet after you're done. Okay? I'm going to tell you. I am your life applications officer. That's what I do. And lastly, what is a life applications officer? Life applications officer is anyone who takes one thing. Okay? One thing, okay, and applies it to everything in life. So if you have a problem with that, you might you might want to skip this channel because that's what I talk about, okay. And I don't really sit here and just quote scripture all day. I might you know I might quote more scripture because um, I do plan on making better videos. I might quote more scripture, but. Um, I talk about the details. I talk about the details of what it's all about. There are things that we do every day that show that we are liberal 
degenerates. There are things that we do every day that show that we are sinners, that we are heathens, that we are Gentiles, that we are separated from God. They come out of our mouths. They show in our dress coat. They show in our ears and our, in our noses and our mouths. And they show in little things about, you know, even hygiene. And they show, um, you know, in big things like this coronavirus that's going on right now in, uh, what is this, uh, April of 2020. They show in so many different avenues what and that we are degenerates and how we and what that means and how we are degenerate and how we are sinners that need to be saved. And we are sinners that need to be saved. We are. We are sinners that need to be saved. Okay? And I believe everybody is a sinner that needs to be saved. Um, I can call myself a sinner for your sake because I'm not perfect and I don't claim to be perfect. So I can call myself a sinner. But um, Jesus has also saved me from my sins. So I don't have to call myself a sinner if I don't want to call myself a sinner because Jesus saved me from my sins. But yeah, I know what you're thinking. All this is, these are all biblical terms. So why are you flatten us with biblical terms? Well, because it's my jam. If I want to flood you with biblical terms, because that's what I believe, that's what I'm going to do. If you don't like it, you might want to move on in your little surfing and go to a different channel. Because I believe that if Jesus said it's wrong, it's wrong. If Jesus said it's right, it's right. And that's the whole point of it. It's not about, you know, where I went to college, um, where I went to uh, have a conversation with all these one, you know, how many immigrants live in this country, how many homosexuals live in this country, how many black people are different than me, blah, 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 blah. blah. It ain't about all that. Not about all that. I don't need to have all that stuff. I need to have one thing. I need to come in contact with that one that's ready to get off the fence. With that one that's ready to change. With that one that's able to admit that I'm a sinner, I need to get right with God. And then once that person gets right with God, then he can come to me and talk to me about my education. He can come to me and talk to me about all these different things that he wants to throw in there because he's a liberal degenerate himself. He wants to come in here and, and, and argue with me about all these things. Get right with God, you fornicators, you adulterers. Get right with God. You extortioners and liars and manipulators and bullies. Real time and cyberspace. Get right with God. Then, my, that's when my videos begin to get better and better and better and better. As you begin to get right with God, then you can help me with that. I am Deroy Cruz. I am your Life Applications Officer. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to have a lot of fun. My topics are not to offend people, but if you're easily offended, prepare to be offended. My topics are to help you think about your ways. My topics are to help you concentrate on... The one thing that you might be doing that you know, I ain't got to argue with you, you know, ain't right. You know it ain't right. And that's what I'm here to help you out with. The part where you ain't right. But if you feel you right, you don't need no counseling, you might want to stay away from this channel. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you soon with some great videos. God bless you.